In this video, I survived 10 days as a vampire dragon in Creatures of Scenaria. The vampire dragon was just recently released and I had to do a survival video to see if I can manage to survive as it. It is called the Sanctor and as you can see, it is pretty cool. My goal is to survive starting as a tiny baby dragon and see if I can grow to adulthood. Also, we have recently reached 100,000 subscribers and I would just like to thank you all for all of the support. But yeah, without further ado, like, subscribe and let's get started. Okay, so here it is. This is the Sanctor, and um, it is the Vampire Dragon of Creatures of Scenaria. And as you can see, it takes 55 minutes to grow, and it's a tier 5. And it, it, it's just a really cool creature, guys. Like, look at it. It is amazing. And we're going to be trying to grow as it, because um, I, I really want to grow as it and see how strong I can actually get. And um, yeah, alright, let's do this. So before we actually spawn in, I want to read the creature description, since, you know, I want to learn a little bit more about this creature. Okay, so, Sanctor are blind creatures of the night, never seen in daytime unless they are driven from the earth. Sanctor tend to group together to collect meals, carrying them back to their matriarch to feed as one. Though seen as blood-sucking monsters, it is only female saying that drain the life from the creatures of Scenaria, draining them of all of their plasma to empower themselves and rejuvenate their health. Wow, okay. That's insane. So, um, yeah, this is the Vampire Dragon. And, um, you know, I mean, I really want to play and add, like, all these cool palettes to it while, like, you know, surviving. But, like, I feel like if I do, it's going to ruin the experience. You know what I mean? So, we're, yeah, you know, we're just going to go with the normal skin because, um, that is, I don't know. The normal skin just always looks really nice. Okay, so on day one, I spawned into the Scenarian world. And as you can see, this is the Vampire Dragon right here or um the real name saying tor and look at this this is the aggro animation and honestly this creature is really cool like like the ears have like a bat like feature and uh it, ha it has like a face of like a wolf and look at this flying animation it is pretty sweet and look at that the sun is just beginning to rise all right this is going to be an epic adventure Okay, so while flying around, I noticed that there was another creature in the distance, and I noticed that it was the Archaelium. And Archaeliums are very, very angelic and very, very cool. So as you can see, um, right now, I'm only 5 out of 100, and yeah, uh, we are pretty weak right now. We only do 86 damage, but uh, yeah, hopefully we get stronger. So I decided to go to the Oasis, and I noticed that there was another Sanctor, and it is pretty cool. This is what a fully grown Sanctor looks like, and uh, hopefully we can actually grow and become this big one day. And this is a fun fact, if you guys didn't know, the Sanctor actually doesn't have eyes. Well, it does, but the eyes are actually on the wings. And yeah, um, if you look at the face, there are actually no eyes. So um, yeah, that's a fun fact for you guys, if you guys didn't know. So it was beginning to turn night, and I decided to leave the Oasis, since everybody was just playing sit at the Oasis simulator. So I decided to fly away and go and explore like I normally would. So I actually wasn't paying attention to my hunger and luckily I found a piece of meat and I began eating it because I was getting quite hungry and that piece of meat filled me up which is perfect. Okay so there's actually a lot of meat on this carcass and I'm going to be taking it with me in case I get hungry. Oh gosh guys it is getting very very dark right now and uh, I'm going to be flying on top of this mountain and oh shoot um, guys I'm out of stamina. Oh no this is very bad. Well, you know what they all say, when in doubt, climb it out. Okay, so we're going to be climbing this mountain, and um, honestly, this is a pretty good spot to rest for the night. So it's been a pretty successful journey, and this is a great way to end off the night. So we're going to be going to bed, and I'll see you all in the morning. Good night. Okay, so while I was sleeping, this Sakurin just came up to me and walked around me for a little bit, and then it flew away, which kind of creeped me out. So now it is officially day three and um, it is finally morning and as you can see the meat that I had overnight uh, is now rotten and I still ate it anyways and I lost a bunch of thirst and a bunch of HP and now I have sickness and I'm pretty sure that's a new thing that they've added into the game and whoa look it's another one of me yo that's epic. Okay so after eating all of that rotten meat um, I had to go get water. And I was quite thirsty, and um, this was a great way to start my day, getting a nice drink of water. So after filling up my thirst, I am now going to have to heal my sickness, 
and um, yeah, lesson learned. Do not eat any more rotten meat. So I decided to head back to the oasis and I saw that there was another Sangtor flying around and that was so cool. I hope one day I could actually grow and be that big. That would be awesome. Okay, so now we are at the oasis and it was awesome because there were a bunch of other Sangtors and also a bunch of other amazing creatures, which was really, really epic. Okay, so after a very long day, the night was beginning to settle in and I decided to rest on top of the oasis and look down at the amazing view. It was really cool seeing all of the creatures of Scenaria just live together in peace and man, this was awesome. So now it is officially nighttime, and I was hanging out at the oasis and I noticed that there was an ankle biting chi pseudo and chi pseudos are very very annoying and it was attacking a fellow sang tour of mine so I decided to chase it down and kill it. Come here you little ankle biter alright I'm gonna get this ankle biter okay there we go wait wait is it dead yet wait where'd it go uh I think I killed it did I oh wait it's over there oh um well I guess it's it's gonna escape. While I was flying and trying to chase the Chisudo, I actually grew, and look at us guys, we are now 18, and look at us, we are a lot bigger and a lot stronger now. Let's go, look at us, all right, we look awesome. Okay, so now it is officially day four, and we have grown to 18, and look at us guys, we are a lot bigger and a lot stronger, which is amazing. So now, um, I actually really need food, so let's try to go and find ourselves some food. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I was just beginning to die from hunger, and luckily I found food because, um, I mean, literally food just spawns around the map. But, um, yeah, guys, so we have full hunger, full thirst, and, uh, yeah, let's go and do some exploring now. Okay, so while flying around, I noticed that there was a little baby Gurugas just living all by itself over here. And I decided to torment it and scare it a bit because, um, I mean, this creature is pretty scary. And look at this, guys. Hello there. Hello there, little Gurugas. Where are you going, huh? Where are you going? Oh, it went invisible. Oh, man, guys. I wonder where the Gurugas went. Oh, oh man. man. I, 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 I wonder, wonder where, where it went. went. I find it kind of funny that it went invisible literally right in front of me. Okay, I'm actually kind of confused. Where did it go? Oh, wait, it's right there. Oh, yes. All right, let's do this. All right, let's do like a dive bomb on it. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, um, it went invisible again. I like how this Kurugas is trying to be uh, very sneaky. Oh, wait, look, it literally just grew right in front of me. Oh, my gosh. Okay, guys, don't worry. I'm not going to kill it. I just want to torment it and scare it, you know? Like, look at me. Hello there. You see this? I'm not gonna kill you, little buddy. Alright, um... Okay, um, okay. Well, I guess it's now invisible inside of the mud. Okay, would you look at that? Okay, so, um, me and the Kurugask are, I guess, officially now friends. Yay! I'm gonna name this little guy Pina because while I was flying around and chasing and tormenting him, he was running around like a, uh, a, a Pina, you know? So I'm going to name him Little Peanut. So it was beginning to turn night and me and Little Peanut just sat here the entire night time. And as you can see, um, yeah, we literally didn't even move. We just kind of sat here throughout the whole night. And um, yeah. Now it is officially day 5 and me and little peanut got up quite early and look at him. We both got some food and now it was time for us to go on our first little journey together. And the way he ran and the way he carried his food around reminded me a lot of little Bobby and man. I was going to make sure this time I'm going to keep little peanut safe.
So while I was sitting down with Little Pina, we were attacked by a feral fox. And the feral fox is called the VT Mortem. And I was using myself as a shield to protect Little Pina. And Little Pina would not accept that. And he was chasing down the VT Mortem while I decided to sit down and heal. Well, after I got done healing my bleed, I decided to rush over and help Little Pina because it looks like Little Pina was in trouble. Okay, so um, I think we are safe now because the fox went inside of a hole and now it is stuck in there. And holy, let's go! Okay, so we just grew to adult guys. Look at us. Okay, this fox is about to get it now. Okay, so um, from the looks of it, the fox is not going to be leaving anytime soon because it has food in there. Oh, wait, wait a minute. We actually might be able to eat the food from here. Wait, hold E T. Wait, wait. Wait, wait, am I eating the food? Oh, I am! Oh, this is perfect. Okay, okay, we ate all of the food. It's gonna have to come out for food eventually. Okay, so me and Little Peanut decided to just wait here for the rest of the night until the fox came out. Okay, so now it is officially day 6 and the fox was just not coming out so I wanted to attempt and try something and see if I can actually hit it. So I dive bomb into the cave and my head was actually able to reach inside of it and I was able to kill the fox and yeah, that is what it gets for messing with us. As you can see, again we are now adult and look at us, we are a lot stronger and a lot bigger now. So now me and Little Pina are now adults, we are a lot stronger and we can actually defend ourselves so we can explore a lot more now without having to worry. On day 7, me and Little Peanut decided to go over here, and uh, from the looks of it, I thought that Little Peanut was actually Adol already, but I guess he wasn't, but now he is. Okay, so me and Peanut were just chilling, and then we saw a Thigh Kalos, and it was getting too close to us, so I decided to warn it away using my aggro, and yeah, it did exactly just that, and it ran away. So me and Little Peanut were just walking around and we saw a Kendall in its natural habitat carrying a hunk of meat and swimming in the water and um, well there it goes, um, it is now underneath the water. Okay, so uh, me and Little Peanut are now at the oasis and as soon as I got to the oasis I was literally attacked by a Chi Sudo for no reason and these are probably the most annoying ankle biters because I don't know why but they give you burn and bleed. So as you can see, I'm currently being attacked by a Chisudo, but luckily, Little Peanut was able to take down the Chisudo before I can actually fly away. And that is when I noticed that there was a Sigma Tox and a Roron next to Little Peanut, and this was not good because Little Peanut went invisible, and that was when the Aurora began attacking Little Peanut, and that is when I had to step in and save Little Peanut. Okay, so luckily they did not come and attack Little Peanut since I was standing there, and luckily Peanut did survive. Okay, so it is now nighttime, and I don't know where the Auroran began charging at us for no reason, and it began accusing us of cozing for no reason, and we began to fight the Auroran together. Okay, so if you don't know, the Vampire Dragon actually has the lifesteal ability, and that allowed me to put up a good fight against the Auroran, but sadly, Aurorans are a lot stronger, and I had to fly away before I was actually killed. 
Okay, so now it is officially day A, and me and Little Peanut decided to go and find ourselves some food and get ourselves some water before heading back to the oasis. So it was currently winter time, and me and Little Peanut decided to go, and we found this little cave on top of the oasis to hide and shelter from the cold. Okay, so I went to look for some food for me and Little Peanut, and I came back to Little Peanut being attacked by another Sanctor. So I had to teach this Sanctor a lesson, and I took it down just like that, and it was quite easy. And Little Peanut was safe. I mean, me and Peanut decided to hang out at the oasis with a bunch of other creatures, and we noticed that there was a Null Rock with a huge family. The Null Rock had at least four little babies that were chasing it around, and I found that very, very adorable. So now it is officially day 9 and while traveling around I found these two little sang tours and wow that is amazing because I have almost completed my journey and these little tiny guys are just starting to begin theirs. Okay, so while I was walking around, I noticed that the little sanctuary from earlier followed us and it went a little bit ahead of us and that was when it was chased by a Yolenhel. So I had to run in and try to save this little tiny sanctuary. Okay, so this Yolenhel was looking for an easy meal and I was not going to let that happen. So I decided to fight back and I grabbed onto the Yolenhel and I took it down right then and there. And just like that, I was able to save the little tiny sanctuary. So now it is day 10 and me and Peanut were hanging out at the oasis and that was when he was attacked by Chi Sudo. This Chi Sudo would not stop attacking him for some reason and yeah, the Chi Sudo was on a mission to kill little Peanut. So I wasn't too sure what was going on since I knew that little Peanut did not attack anybody but the Chi Sudo just kept on attacking him so I had to stop this Chi Sudo from attacking little Peanut. Luckily, I was able to chase away the Chisudo and it flew away, never returning. So not even a few seconds later, I turn back and I see that little Peanut was being targeted by a Himokai and a Gara Warden. And I wasn't sure what was going on. And then out of nowhere, a Chisudo flew out of nowhere and it came back and began attacking Peanut. So I had to get this bird off of Peanut. And I did exactly just that and the bird ran away. And turns out the Gara Warden was actually caught in crossfire when Pino was trying to fight away the bird using his breath and out of nowhere another Sanctor and a Alonis came to my backup and I thought they were here to kill Pina but luckily they were here to help me protect Pina. So at this time Pina was actually invisible and he was being healed by the little Munelli that passed by which was great because he was extremely low. Thankfully I was able to save little Pina from dying and thanks to the little Munelli that healed Pina. So a few minutes later, I noticed that there was another bird and it was going for the Ares. And I had to stop this bird from attacking the Ares. And I don't know why, but there are so many of these birds that literally just fly around and attack everybody. And I was able to attack it. And once I got one hit on it, it was getting really low and it ran off and flew away. So I flew back to the other Sanctors to see how they were doing and it looks like this one was doing fine but I do remember that there were two and I'm not sure what happened to the other Sanctor. Okay so now it is nighttime, and out of nowhere a candle popped out of the waters and began charging towards us. So this little tiny Sanctor was telling us to be careful because this candle could possibly be dangerous and out of nowhere it began charging at me luckily I flew just in time before it could get some hits on me and now we had to fight this Kendall so sadly this was probably not the best idea because one of the Sanctors did die and out of nowhere the little one tried to avenge but sadly the little one also did die and it was just me left sadly it was just me left and I had to avenge my fellow Sanctors so I was prepared to fight so this battle was not going in my favor because the candle was much stronger and this is going to be a hard battle but thankfully the creature with the ice breath and me together were both able to take down this candle. 
So after taking on the candle, I am now fully grown and that is how I survived 10 days as a vampire dragon inside of Creatures of Scenaria. Thank you all so much for watching and joining me on this journey while I try to survive as a vampire dragon. And I want to thank you all so much for all of the support and be sure to comment down below what creature you would like to see next. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.